Okay, this is the way of the blade, this the blade problem. In this example, we're given a parabola with equation 16 minus x squared, and x is an element of negative 4 to 4. So, we have an xy axis over here, and because this is negative, we have a downward parabola like that. And it goes from negative 4 to 4 on the base. That's what he tells us in the problem. And I'm going to draw, to make it 3D, I'm going to draw a Z axis over here, Z and negative Z. And the base, he tells us, is a circle. So there's the base. And then he tells us that that lines are drawn from the circle base to the ridge of this parabola and down again. So many triangles are going up. And that's the 3D version of it. So then we're going to look at what the triangle looks like. So this is looking at it with your nose over here looking to the left. This is the cross section of the triangle. Okay, I'm going to choose a random slice, one of these slices that has a triangle on both ends here. And I'm going to choose it at an x value x. And I know that at the x value x, the y value above that will be f of x. And the f of x in this case follows the equation. So the f of x equals 16 minus x squared. So that's the y value. y equals 16 minus x squared. So I'm going to plot this x of my slice over here. It's that point. That's x. And the height of the parabola above that x, that height, is 16 minus x squared. That's the height of this triangle. In the problem, he's asking us to find the area of the triangle, so that's what we're going to find in terms of uh, x. So now we need to know for the area of a triangle we need one half base times height. We have the height, we just need to know the base, and to do that we need to examine the circle. So I'm going to bring the circle this way. We're going to look at the base circle from the top view. And I'm going to put the axes on it, the same axes that are on it over here. So here's the x, the negative x-axis, and this one is the z-axis, and the negative z-axis over here. That same point x, I'm going to plot again here, x, of my random slice. That's the same point that I plotted here, okay? so. I'm going to look at this distance here, and I'm going to call this distance from here to here z. Just the way when it's plotted on an xy axis, I call that distance upward y, and I call it the distance upward here z. Just change the name of the axis over here. And I know that this point over here, the edge of the circle, is 4, and that this other point of the circle over here is negative 4. The radius of the circle is 4. Now I'm going to deal with the equation of a circle, which is traditionally x squared plus y squared equals radius squared. I'm going to replace y with z in this case because I don't have an xy axis. I made an xz axis in this case, so it's going to be x squared plus z squared equals r squared. And I know that my radius is 4. So x squared plus z squared equals 4 squared, which is 16. x squared plus z squared equals 16. Now, why am I doing this all? Because this z value, which I can also show you over here, that's the z value over there, distance from the x point to the edge of the circle there, is this distance right here. So these are three ways of looking at the same thing, at this three-dimensional object. 
that is this z distance over here. And this z distance is equal to one half of the base, which will be very useful in finding the area. We already have the height of the triangle, and we need to know what this is, one half of the base. So we'll come back to the circle, and we know we need z, so I'm just going to solve for z. z squared equals 16 minus x squared. z equals square root of 16 minus x squared. Actually, z equals plus or minus square root, but if you look at the graph here, you're plotting it, and you have an x value here, for this x value, you get two different z values. You get positive z value and a negative z value. I'm only concerned with the positive one, so going back down here, I'm just going to ignore that and deal with only the positive value of this square root. And I have solved for z. I'm going to bring this over here and plug it in. I know that z equals the square root of 16 minus x squared, because I just discovered that. Now I know that z is one half of the base, so I'm going to plug into this area. z equals one half of the base, which is 16 minus x squared, it's the square root of that. And then I have to do times the height, and the height is 16 minus x squared. So I'm going to put that in, the height, 16 minus x squared. Now I'm going to rewrite this as 16 minus x squared to the 1 half power for the square root, and 16 minus x squared to the 1 power for just the regular term. If it's the same base to this power and to this power, and I'm multiplying these terms, I can just add the powers. So a equals the base, 1 plus 1 half is 3 halves. And that's the area of the cross-section of the isosceles triangle in terms of x, which is what he asks for in the first part of the problem. From there, it's integrating it, which is actually a bit challenging to... Uh, if you have trouble with that, I'll make another video, but this is the first part.